Right on. Hola. Buenos dias. Well, more like almost the afternoon now. Buenos, buenos tardes. Uh, just gonna head out and I uh, gotta go pick up a few groceries from the Mega Maxi. Uh, a few things uh, for dinner and stuff. Uh, gonna stop and see my one legged bandit friend. Um, uh, and I've collected a whole bunch of uh, extra medical supplies like uh, gloves and masks, calf holders, uh, alcohol wipes, uh, different sizes of gauze, even uh, some shower protectors. Maybe he can use them or he can sell them, whatever he wants to do. Uh, and that's all because of some very friendly, kind people, uh, some other LBAD people that uh, I'm friends with uh, that have sent me so much extra supplies that I I can afford to give them uh, give them away pay, pay it forward uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head out of the complex now on the e-bike and yes I know I will do the e-bike video soon I just uh, Got to get the energy up, man. It's so hot. It just uh, drains my energy to, 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 to do these videos, but I'm going to keep doing them uh, because uh, I'm doing it for a purpose, man. The purpose is to monetize this, this channel and to really start paying it forward here in Ecuador uh, for, the, uh, home, for the dogs, the pet population, the dog rescues, and the people. Uh, because I gotta do something. Can't work anymore now that I was cut down with heart failure. So whatever, not a big deal. Blessing in disguise, that's what I call it. Gives me an opportunity to do something I never was able to do prior. Love you all and I'll talk to you later. Hola, just back uh, here now in front of my uh, favorite market, uh, Punta Market. See my buddy Zambrano. Uh, I stopped at the corner and my one-legged friend was not there today however there were a uh, lot of other uh, window washers and guys working the corner uh, I had an opportunity to get off and talk to them and explain a little bit more about my situation to them um, you know explaining uh, that I give what I can and uh, you know uh, in my heart always uh, you know, I love this country and I'm gonna do everything I can for the people in it and uh, the country itself. So, uh, I will uh, post up uh, what I said uh, on my translator uh, to, the, to the young gentleman. When I go back, I'll turn on the GoPro and I'll film it. Uh, I think I'll just maybe stop and I, I can get them a six pack of beer for $5. Uh, you know, they're working hard. They're out in the 30 degree heat all day. Yeah, I know they can handle it But you know what? It's just the thought that counts lets them know that there's people thinking about them There's you know, there's love in this world man, and there just needs to be more of it uh, Ecuador raw and real It's it's about the love baby. So uh, Hasta luego. I'm gonna finish my cold coke and uh, head on over to the Super Maxi. And uh, if I think there's anything exciting, I'll turn on the GoPro. Love ya. All right, <clears throat> along the tour, uh, we uh, I've passed this guy several times and I've uh, meant to stop, check him out. Now I'm gonna actually do it. Here he is, he's uh, Eloy Alfaro Delgado. 1842 to 1912. I'll have to look him up to put the information in because I have no idea who he is. And there he is. He's got his hand open and he's got... I have no idea what the hell that is in his hand. Maybe a stamp of some kind something i'm not too sure but i'll tell you what i'm gonna find out okay and uh then just to hear behind me here like i've told you in 
you've seen in some of my other videos here. The artwork around here is just beautiful. Consumer drogas no te hace moderno y libre te hace de billy esclavo. Uh, I'm probably saying I just probably murdered that. Anyway, it's beautiful. Hola, amigo! Hola! Oh, buenos dias! Good! Just uh, beautiful art. Not very bonita. Very beautiful. Anyways, that's all you can get. I'm not going to pan over that guy's head. He's sitting in front of a piece of artwork. But, uh, you know, like I said, not everybody is super friendly, man. You know, and you just got to be able to read the vibe. If you read the vibe right, and uh, you keep yourself out of a lot of trouble. Anyways, back onto the bike. Okay, so at the, at the mall here, Mall del Pacifico, yeah, I only get my phone time from one lady. I pay about a... It's, Clearly everybody else uses her as well uh, because uh, that's the stand there. That's the 20 stand and uh, I pay about a $20 for uh, unlimited calling and data uh, per month. And uh, this, is, this lady knows how to, uh, how to load the phone properly. Uh, a lot of other uh, places that I've tried have totally messed it right up and got a new phone number and all that shit. So actually there's like five people here waiting, so. Oh, look at, they're all white too, eh? A bunch of white people. Yes, we are. <laughs> That's right, where are you from, man? Canada. Oh, so am I. Are you? I'm Carmen. So where, where are you from? British Columbia. Oh, BC. Okay. Yeah, bring cash or bad credit. Yeah, yeah. I'm One from, of the two, what about you? from Quebec. Oh, Quebec? Yes. Oh, Joe Sackick, man, he was the best. <laughs> best thing that ever happened yeah. to the Quebec Nordiques, eh? That, that's it. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been in DC when I was in the Air Force. Oh, right on. Oh, well, thank I, you. I, I was at Gomox. Uh, Gomox, I know it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, gracias for your service, man. Right, thank you. Thank I you, appreciate sir. that a lot. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel, uh, Ecuador Raw and Real. Oh, yeah. uh, you're going to be on it now. <laughs> if, yeah, hopefully you don't mind, my oh, friend. I know, I know, that's all right. I How know, long have you been in Ecuador? Yeah, we just got it two days ago and we'll be leaving the uh, end, of, end, of, end of March. You're leaving at the end of March? Yeah, we were at the house here. Yeah, be with friends there. beautiful, eh? Yeah. Uh, I got cut down with a, well, obviously a yeah. disability and I uh, couldn't afford to live in Canada any longer. Oh, I had to figure out something to do for work too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I used to install glass, yeah. like do oh, all this oh, glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, back in BC I was sure. a glazer. Okay. So uh, now uh, I figured I've been here for a year. Okay. Started yeah. a YouTube channel. So we just got here. Okay, well, you go ahead. He's past San Mateo and he's an ex. She's, a, she's our uh, lead there. Really. That's your lead? Yeah, she's she a needs, leader? She needs here. So. All, all, all men need a good woman to lead. Well, she's a friend of us. And yeah. we, she got a house here. She's been living here for five years. Oh, is she from Quebec as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. She spent the summer in Quebec and come back here. Though. Oh, fantastic, man. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was really nice talking right. to you. So do I. I hate grocery shopping. At least it's not that busy in here. Because when it's busy, it's a freaking zoo. So anyways, uh, having some good conversation though. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you're never going to see Ecuador like you see it here on uh, Ecuador Raw and Real, baby. This is what this is what it's all about. You want to know what it's like living here? You follow, follow and subscribe to my channel. Love you.